you know, we're talking about all these series. Uh, the big news also came out of HBO Max. Uh, the Snyder Cut is being released on uh, HBO Max. Yo. So this is huge, man. People have been talking about this cut that they have thought it was a theory. It was like a conspiracy theory that this existed for a long time. And, you know, at some point something happened while they were filming right. Justice League uh, to where they had to switch directors. And people have been talking about how they could tell that this, you know, like, I don't even know how to put it, that it was, you could tell where once, where it stopped was, where it was stopped being directed by one director and it picked up with with the other director. I can't even remember. What was the other director's name that directed this? Um, Josh, Josh, Josh Whedon. Josh Whedon, yeah. So this is huge because yeah, man. a lot of people have been talking about this for a long time, man. It, it was always people, trending and stuff, but I'm excited to watch like this. This was the one. This People felt like if this would have came out, it would have changed the whole trajectory of the DCMU. Yep, absolutely. Or us, DCU or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for us to finally get this and see what it was really supposed to be, that's mm-hmm. huge, bro. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're a DC fan, because that's, that's what hurts me the most with this whole DC being so trash in the film department. Because honestly, I'm a bigger DC fan than I am of Marvel when it really boils down to it. Mm-hmm. Bro. But the Marvel, the MCU, is just so great. Like you can't you can't deny it, man. Mm-hmm. You can't deny it. It's just overwhelmingly better than than DC. So oh, it is. This, man. Is, like... this is this is major, man. I'm yeah. looking forward to and, it. I'll and, be one of the first people to watch this. Show. Yeah, and originally, you know, it sucked because he had to leave. Uh, I, I believe it was for like a family emergency. That's why he couldn't finish directing the film. But now that they have this cut, it's just I'm excited to see the changes of you know what was supposed to be. You know, kind of like what you're you're putting what you're saying. Um, I mean. Fans have been screaming for this for the past, what, three years? Uh, four, four. Three, now. four years, yeah. Um, especially once they knew it kind of pretty much existed. And, I mean, HBO Max is just, again, we're, we're talking about HBO Max again, but they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're doing everything. They're, they're betting on any and everything that uh, people want. And they're giving a lot of the yeah, the people they're, they're things they on want. Fan service, man. Yep, they're fo- they're they're entirely focused on fan service. You mm-hmm. see it, you feel it, and you you honestly getting what you want right now. Yep. Like if you if you are in these fandoms, you are totally getting what you want, man. And I seen I seen the slate that Warner and HBO Max are planning to drop. I'm I'm gonna be spending a lot of time on this app, dog. Yeah, I think yeah. I'll I think I'll buy that. I think I'll start my service next month when this releases, because this releases next month, March what 18th. This is uh, huge, yeah, man. Yeah, March 18th. This yeah. is huge. It's like the 30th. Yeah. Today. Or wait, yeah, net, no. net, uh Well, maybe I'll start in March. I don't know. Uh, but I mean, it's yeah, plenty it, of shit to watch on there. Now, oh yeah, though. for don't, sure. Don't 